what is going on clashers for today's video i thought i would do a war recap of our very last war we faced a clan called Druzina, and if any of you guys are involved in the TWC circuits at all, the uh, Top War clan, then you more than likely have heard of this clan. Uh, they're number 36 in the world right now for uh, Warwinds, 391. Uh, I think the top clan is 427 Warwinds right now, so they're within, uh, within like 36 of them, something like that. I'm math bad. Anyways. Um, I thought I'd showcase a couple of the better attacks of this war uh, because honestly it was a pretty heavyweight battle. They are fucking amazing attackers. We switched around about 40% of our Town Hall 11 and 10 bases. Um, just in the off chance they might have taken our base from one of my old YouTube videos. Or We, we tried hard in this war. We tried real hard. Um, I'm going to start off with a replay. We're going to focus on the Town Hall 11. Uh, 10 and 11 triples of these war of this war on both sides, but I'm gonna start off by uh, showcasing one of our um, one of our guys' attacks. Dan the man, he always gives me guff for never putting his replays in the videos. So uh, we're gonna start off with one of his, and this is uh, a fairly technical uh, attack. He beats a pretty a pretty cool base. Like I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty well put together base. It's got uh, a Tesla farm, and uh, and Dan seems to know exactly that. Throws in his uh, golems, wall breakers. Uh, I'll probably do this in double speed because we're gonna we're gonna run through a lot of replays today, so this video is gonna turn out to be like 15, 20 minutes or some shit. I'm I'm sure. Anyways, um, great job just isolating that Tesla farm right there. Um, Queen is gonna target the defensive troops. Starts in with the hogs along the side. Um, these two golems, the golems path beautifully because they went and they're just distracting defense, defense left, right, and center. I actually really like what he did there. In case you didn't catch it, he uh, he dropped a skeleton spell on distraction skeletons that were kind of eating away at his hogs. And this is the first time I've ever really seen a skeleton spell used in like an effective fashion. Because let's get real, it's a pretty useless spell at this point in the game. Uh, Supercell just kind of put it in for whatever shits and gigs. Who knows? Um, anyways, very technical attack. It was a uh, Govaho. It was uh, very well done, in my opinion. Dan the man, good job. But also, fuck you. There's your, there's your replay. You're in. Look how long these like these guys do so little damage. Look how long it took them. They they were sitting on that dark elixir storage for like two minutes. That was uh, that was a ruthless amount of time. Uh, all right, so that is a, probably the first and only Town Hall Nine replay that I'm gonna show you. Um, Let's jump next to let's go watch some of their attacks. Like I said, we redid all our war bases, so they didn't have a uh, they they didn't really touch any of our, our top town hall 11s, but they three start everything under that. And uh, Pound Town, he looks like a town hall 11, but he's a town hall 10. He's a 10.5, I should say. He's got no warden. He doesn't have those extra point defenses, and he leaves his archer towers at level 12, I believe that is. But anyways, uh, obviously this guy is doing a queen walk to a boner attack. Uh, so he's substituting about 8 miners uh, to have 4 healers with him and this attack was like semi mod quality and what I mean by that is it was just so like everything pathed so perfectly so beautifully that it was uh, suspicious at best and this was a cleanup hit but um, I'm not saying anything by any means the clan is uh, filled with great attackers and there's nothing I can really say other than that, but like very calculated with how he does everything. Doesn't even need to bust out his rage spell for the queen, just because that poison uh, was so well placed, well placed on time. Uh, but the queen has walked right into the compartment. Great funnel. Uh, hasn't need needs a rage now. Yeah, needs a rage now. But it's, it's tremendous value for this queen walk. She took out the enemy queen. It's got the golem. Got a loon. Uh, it's gonna take them both out with that heal. He's and this was the the questionable part that I found. Throws in the Barb King, distracts those defenses, and then so perfectly places two bowlers on each of those outside buildings, and the bowls path right into the archer uh, archer towers. Like that, I thought was uh, extremely convenient and very fucking calculated to say the least. Anyways, this is like one of my favorite uh, things here. He. Uh, sends in the miner with the warden as opposed to doing the queen walk with the with the warden Because uh, the warden does Work best or like it's supposed to follow the miners because the miners are doing all the cleaning up here They're gonna run through the infernal towers so to speak So it's it's better that the warden is with the miners here. Uh, he also had pretty good um, He refrained from using the ability early at all. He knew that 
I guess the warden was just gonna continue to follow. Those heal spells are fucking absolutely great. He led them right into the uh, to the miners' pathing. Like this was uh, all in all a fucking amazing attack. This archer tower is still, uh, sorry, this archer queen is still distracting troops. Again, another great heal is gonna pop that uh, warden ability shortly. Honestly, didn't even need the warden ability. Did not need the warden ability at all. Um, he had this. He had this base dead to rights. He had those last defenses fucking one and done. Um, extremely well done attack. Again, it's basically on a Town Hall 10. The only uh, defense added is the Grand Warden. But um, extremely well done. Technical attack. Raiden 7829 is, uh, is clearly well placed in their clan. But let's... Uh, We'll go back and forth. We'll do replay for replay. Let's uh, let's show one of my uh, attacks. So uh, I chose this base. I saw it off the hop, and I chose to attack it specifically be so, uh, because I saw the uh, like I, I've just been on, on these types of bases, guys. With the segregated infernos, you want to use boner. Uh, essentially, you don't really want a mass miner. Um, and so I, I just saw a vulnerability here that the uh, this inferno was kind of out on the outside as well. The heroes are right there too. Um, and the Eagle Artillery, so there's a lot of value that can be taken uh, uh, just by throwing in the first part of that attack, which is the boulders, the heroes, and a golem. Um, and then after that, it's all kind of how you path the miners. Uh, send Archer Tower, he, Archer to take out the um, army camp there, Minion to take out the army camp down there, and uh, just they're free buildings basically, buildings that are uh, not being touched by defenses. I thought I wall, wall break failed there, I was a little nervous, but. Uh, we had one more wall breaker back. Golem's distracting beautifully. There's no worry that these bowlers are not going to path to the outside. Now, uh, when I do these types of attacks, I always like to bump my warden ability early. Uh, as in, protecting those bowlers and making sure that they take out um, at least that Inferno Tower, the heroes, and the clan castle troops. Now, the reason... Um, like, I, I found there's so much value in the poisons that we threw down there. Because the poison... Uh, you could, could throw one poison on both heroes as well as the clan castle troops because it's being led through that uh, So that was extremely Convenient and kind of a, a, a mistake in the space um, So we use the we're trying to funnel the miners here essentially to that uh, last infernal tower as well as the eagle artillery these are the uh, as long as those those are the biggest threats to the, to the miners to the rest of this attack so as long as this was going down uh, it's pretty much over and I put them in a fashion that they would go in front of the queen because the queen is honestly imperative to three-starring this attack as long as she's still up there's such a great chance of, uh, of three-starring essentially and uh, from here it was definitely done we had our last heal we have so many fucking miners left the queen's not getting targeted by anything uh, she's also getting targeted now but putting in work there's still so much attack power that uh, there's no way this was not gonna three-star from here it's uh, just kinda sit back Watch it relax, get hype. Good times, but we can speed this up, obviously. And uh, again, I streamed this attack while I did it, and honestly, my dick was hard. It went from six to midnight very quickly after this attack because it, let's let's get real. If you if you're tripling town hall ten, town hall elevens, town hall even town hall tens, you, you feel good. You feel good. Okay, let's show uh, the fizz gods attack on a, uh, a pretty good Town Hall 10 layout. Uh, this base again, Segregated Infernos, you don't want to mass miner this shit, you basically want to do a, a boner, you want to do a two part attack. Or maybe something like a queen walk where your queen can get the value of um, the enemy queen, the Inferno Tower, and the clan castle. You just need extreme value for the first part of your attack, that's essentially all it is. Um, so he created a funnel up here, threw in a golem, uh, he's going to send in his heroes momentarily. I like that he saw that that wizard died and he threw in one bowler just to make sure that the funnel would go like accordingly. And that was uh, it was well done in my opinion. Uh, throws the jump and this is another uh, base where you can get extreme value for, the, uh, for one poison. One poison is going to hit both heroes as well as the clan castle troops. Now he did it a little differently. He didn't bump that ability as early as I did. I, uh, I like to just try and keep those as many of those bowlers up for as long as possible and uh, and yeah as you can see he just hit that warden ability he didn't have that many bowlers left um, but obviously it wasn't the wrong move he still got the triple uh, he's sending in his miners in a good 
in a good funnel sense of the word he's got a couple going around the outside with some minions which is absolutely key because you want those bowlers to stay inside go inside the court as opposed to uh, going around the outside on these stupid small little buildings and the archer queen I think is what took down both inferno towers this uh, this attack oh I didn't even notice that he flexed both of his heels what a cocky little shit he just flexed both of his fucking remaining heels fucking fizz god anyways well done attack I think we can speed it up at this point um, even the queen is she still alive nah she done dies um, but yeah, another great attack, very technical attack on a uh, on a pretty decent Town Hall 10 layout. The strategy we used this war too was um, we had Lance last clutch. Um, he's a Town Hall 10, but he just used like drag attacks. I'll show you the attacks. He hit the top two guys, and uh, basically what that did that allowed our Town Hall 11s to focus solely on three star starting the Town Hall 10s, and then maybe afterwards going for a uh, percentage on the Town Hall 11s or going for a triple, um, because he kind of feels it out. Let's you know if there's te Tesla farms and where, and um, and it's a good scout attack basically. Now this was a this was an issue here because he threw in his healers not realizing that they would probably go right to that golem and as soon as that golem is uh, goes up there he loses all of his healers so he loses like it was at 28 56 troop capacity uh, for basically next to no value but that clearly didn't make too much of a difference he's got all of his level five dragons up there he's gonna get the two star. Uh, there's no issue here, and again, it's a it, it's a great way to do it because Town Hall 10s. It's hard for Town Hall 10s to three star other Town Hall 10s nowadays. Town Hall 11s, it's so fucking easy. Obviously, you have that Town Hall advantage, but it's about the warden, man. The warden it makes such a drastic difference with your attacks, and as well to the fact that uh, you don't have max bowlers or miners at a Town Hall 10 level. So uh, that makes uh, that makes a huge difference as well, having max bi uh, bowlers and max miners. To, uh, to get the triple on all these bases. So this was a great scout attack. Dragons, uh, very well done. Uh, so he still has healers left, uh, but it, they don't mean anything when they're getting targeted by that Inferno Tower. They don't mean anything. Got 54%, didn't even lower the clan castle. That's awesome. When you, when you get your two star and you haven't even lured the clan castle, because he didn't want to lure the clan castle. He didn't want it involved in any way, shape, or form. As long as he got the two star, he was happy. Uh, but that was a great attack and very very technical and calculated in a sense. Let's show um, let's show one of their better attacks, I suppose. Let's uh, let's show another attack on one of our town hall tens and see how he does this one. Now this uh, this base is fucking hard to beat, man. It is. Uh, we practice on it all the time in our clan, and a lot of the time, people cannot beat this. And in wars, it's rarely three starred at best. I think I have a, a base build of it on YouTube. Um, this base is fucking savage as shit. Uh, so he definitely didn't attack very well. I think it defended a couple times this war too, uh, from their town hall eleven attackers. Um, so this was like probably the second, third, maybe fourth hit on it. Ah, refreshing Coca-Cola. Uh, queen walking, he's got the Warden. I like that. I like including the Warden in the Queen Walk. It adds the extra attack power, but it also adds an extra safety net, so to speak. Um, that you're, you can pop an ability, as opposed to just having to pop your Queen's ability. You can pop a Warden ability. It's not recommended by any means. Um, but it just adds, again, more attack power. Uh, good poison on the heroes to just kind of like keep them at bay. Uh, it was a good funnel. The queen's gonna stay up obviously, and uh, and he's clearly gonna yeah say warden ability to save the queen, and he's uh, clearly just gonna mock that infernal tower because it's close to the outside. Yeah, not a chance in hell that that was uh, going anywhere. Uh, the queen pops her ability to stay alive. That's good because they had two abilities up there. They had the warden, they had the uh, and the archer queen. What else is happening here? So we got a jump. That was a good, well placed jump. Those bowlers are going to go in there and they're going to bowl right over that inferno. Shove it a boom at some point. Yeah, look at all those. Look at those mashup of bowlers. Barb King's kind of tanking there. Uh, the healers are on the bowlers as well, which is pretty fucking key. Pretty clutch, pretty key. Good separation of them all. All the defenses are down because their bowlers roll. Roll like a motherfucker, and at this point, it's clearly done. Well, well done, attack. Good queen walk, good funnel, uh, and good. Uh, he sent the bowlers in properly. That was a, a pretty well done attack. 
these guys were savage I'm surprised we uh, it, it was it, when we matched them I didn't even like realize who they were at first and then I looked them up on clash of stats on net and I have heard of them before I just didn't uh, kind of brain farted on that and uh, yeah 391 war wins they're at a 21 win streak too that we kind of took from them 42 days of consecutive winning that's got to be frustrating uh, we've lost heavier than that but but okay let's go to uh, gherkin let's go we just did a mass miner on bases like this because again the heroes are so low the only infernal tower that's really a threat is the multi-target the single target doesn't do near as much devastating damage um, but let's throw it down this one is a much simpler attack it's a fucking spray and pray you just toss in the miners he threw in like eight wall breakers there like <laughs> that's I think uh, an intense amount of wall breakers to bring I don't think you ever need that many uh, of course to make it so you don't wall breaker fail I'm sure it's a it's a good idea now uh, Queen and Barb King I think you're gonna both go where they need to go no Barb King's gonna stray cuz he's a dick uh, he's already sent his miners in in a fashion that they are gonna path towards that single target inferno which is uh, which is key obviously Queen what's she doing She's getting hit by shit. She's gonna not doesn't even need to drop the ability. That's good. Uh, still got that warden ability too. Kind of held that one. Uh, the queen is I think what actually goes back and takes out that infernal tower. That's awesome. And that was a, a very clutch move that she went right back in to take it out because there's a chance if she didn't uh, that might have fucked up the raid. He had so many miners left that I don't see it being that big of an issue. But it was brilliant pathing regardless. Uh, at this point, it is clearly done. The triple is... And then he throws down the Warden ability. The Warden ability was a little bit off in that attack. Clearly didn't make a difference. The defense uh, levels were low. The hero levels were low. This wasn't a... Uh, it's just a, a war geared base, so to speak. Uh, we'll throw down one more attack. This is one of our 10.5s, Coach Bombay. This is Pound Town. This is his mini. Um, and I guess he is hitting a... Uh, another war geared base on the other enemy clans team uh, interesting design uh, all the defense levels are again are like he has town hall nine archer towers and cannons save this one over here the wizard tower like his splash damage is pretty much max and he has two maxed out um, expos for whatever reason like he's, he's war geared it obviously but uh, in, a, in a weird kind of fashion uh, and he does a lava loon, which is awesome. You don't see many lava loons nowadays, except for extremely uh, high-ranking calculated clans, because it's uh, it's not as consistent of an attack. I find it's extremely overpowered when you know how to use it, but uh, sometimes shit can go awry very quickly with the lava loon. I'm sure many of you guys know if you've ever used it. And uh, balloon placement, good. Couple of balloons on each defense, so to speak. He's got level four lava hounds. Um, so this was is pretty overpowered. Um, regardless he used a lot of rages where he could have uh, used some haste spells um, the rages obviously help they speed him up and they they drop devastating damage uh, even though balloons do that regardless got left with one lava hound it looks like and that Tesla farm could have been an issue if that hound maybe wasn't up but that hound is alive and kicking and uh, from there it's all clean up it is all good uh, but again, good attack. Just kind of spam the fuck out of this guy from the air with the lava hounds and the balloons. Um, huge win. Huge win for us. We we're very happy with it. And um, Druzina is a fucking a force to be trifled with, that's for sure. Or should I say not a force to be trifled with? Either way, mad respect for my, my Russian, my Ruski comrades. Uh, well fought. Maybe we'll see them again one day. Um... But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably try and throw down a little bit more war recaps. We're going to do an arranged war in a week uh, with a Reddit alliance, Reddit clan, something like that. So I'll probably do a war recap of that as well as stream it. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to drop that like button and so on and so forth. As always, enjoy your freedom. Peace.